driveway is to take your time and try to make straight runs as as you can whatever don't drive up backwards on the driveway because you'll just pack the snow down and then you'll have to leave some skates for the uh, people that live there to skate down the driveway packing snow is no good so if you're gonna make a straight run start from the street and push the sides slowly it's not easy doing a circle unless you're on the rail like a train and you can run around it but I doubt that you're gonna have a rail so you want to go slow and again don't back up on it because you're gonna pack it down and it'll become an ice rink anyway having said that take your time put it aside as many times as you can and, like I said, if you can make some straight runs, do it. As it come, as for as for the curves, this is where you gotta slow down. Slow it down, because if you don't, you're probably gonna take up on the edge of the grass with whatever you're plowing. So go slow, plow, and go slow. Don't get frisky. Don't get anxious. There's no time limit here. He who plows fast does not win it. He who plows neatly wins it. So wake up! Plow nice and easy. On a curve. On a circular driveway. Go nice and slow. Pull down snow. Don't back up on snow. These are the rules. And you'll have a nice, neat job. No matter what, I think you're going to curl up some of the lawn. So, come the warm spring weather, bring some grass seed, fellas. Oh! Shut the hell up! Kids looking for some kind of shellacking. Cause he had to do his, uh, like I said, plow forward from the street to the side. Keep doing that and then move the car back where he plowed. He plowed again a straight path on top of the circle to the side. Go slow, slow. And try not to remove too much of the grass because you come back in the spring when it's warm and have to replant it. Wise guy. Getting good at this.
Come on! Thank you.